Hello and welcome back to Let's Go Hunting. Today we're here on Logger's Point because our random selection was to hunt white-tailed deer here on Logger's Point with the 243. And which 243 wasn't specified, so I thought I'd bring the carbon just because I like it. I didn't even reload it just so we could see the animation. I think it looks really good. So now I'll show you where we're going to go on the map. Might take a second to load because I'm updating something in the process of recording this. So I'm going to head down through here. I'll probably stop off at the tower for a minute, do some calling. Then I'll loop down around a bit more uh, closer to the coast. And we'll continue our way towards the south. And then I might fast travel to a tent. Uh, or I might uh, go to the lodge or something. I don't know. It depends on what we're seeing. Of course, we're probably not going to follow that path because animals will take us elsewhere. Also, I did bring the winter pulsar for does. Uh, because, as always, I don't like to shoot. Uh, does with a gun uh, which could potentially scare off bucks that are close by so that's what we're going to be doing and we'll see how it goes all right so we've got a white tail buck coming in 70 to 95 score estimate so quite small but it's a start i think he just stopped so we'll have to crawl over here a bit go for our shot that was weird but he dropped. Let's see if we got double lung or what happened there. Right lung liver. It's kind of a surprising drop shot, actually. 81 score. So we didn't even make it to the tower. I guess maybe we'll still sit there because anything on the back side of it that was out of render still could be there. Uh, so we'll probably not stay as long uh, before we continue on our way, but we'll definitely stay a little bit. All right, we've got another tiny white-tailed buck here. Should be coming past this tree in just a second. Maybe. There he is. 45 to 65 score estimate. I don't know if that's the one I have tracks from, because I think he goes up to 90 or 95 kilograms. But this one's kind of heavy for his size. So it could be. Oh, I'm out of breath now. That's good. Down he goes. Uh, yep, that's the one I was tracking. Glad I didn't track him for any longer, because he's pretty small. So liver, stomach, intestine will drop them too, and actually I didn't think that was that far back, but... Interesting. Alright, so we're going to continue heading south. Alright, we've got a pretty solid looking white tail buck coming in. 155 to 180 score estimate. And we've actually got a broadside shot right now. All the drop shots at the 243 kind of surprising me. Usually you get like a single lung and they'll run a bit. Uh, but we've dropped all three bucks that we've shot. This time at least we did get lung for sure. Lung liver again. Huh. 157 score, not bad. Alright, so I think this is as good as we're going to get. We're on like a really steep hill. And unfortunately the sun's behind us, but I couldn't get it to look uh, good at all facing the other way. So we'll take it. He's not an absolute monster, so not super concerned about that. But a pretty solid buck, so hopefully we can find more of that. All right, so we've got a mule deer buck coming in. I actually don't know where he is. I can hear him, though. There he is. We'll take him with the bow just because uh, we are whitetail hunting with the 243. Oh, and we've got another grunt. Hold on. That's a mule deer as well. But I never pass up on a chance to take out a buck. So we'll go ahead and bow this guy. Kind of stuck in trees. Luckily he's not all that big, so he hasn't noticed us. And we did not make a great shot. We did get lung, but he's running right towards where the other one grunted from. So hopefully he won't spook that one. We shall see momentarily. All right, we've got a white-tailed doe here that we can take out with our pulsar, maybe. Yeah, she's coming kind of our way. So she's down. We'll just grab her quickly before continuing on. I think that's the first white-tailed doe I've even seen. I don't know if I've even seen any in past them so far. 
All right, there's a sleeping feral hog literally right here by the blood. The mule deer ran right by him. Can't really tell where his head is, though. There. Did that not even wake him up? What is going on here? Oh, he's not asleep, is he? What the heck? That's so weird. He must have just been bugged there or something. I thought he was asleep. And after I shot him, I figured I should just uh, finish him off. But, man, no wonder he didn't wake up. He was already awake. I thought it was odd that the mule deer would run, like, that close to him. Um, and not spook him. And that might be our other buck coming in now that I hear, so... We'll get down until we see what it is. Uh, yep, that's our buck. About the size of the one we just shot, so unfortunately not all that big. But we'll take it. Alright, so we have to track our other mule deer buck. It's always good to get some variety, um, like when hunting one species like we're doing for whitetail right now. That's our 25th uh, winter pulsar harvest. Getting some mule deer and like the feral hog here and there, uh, it's always good to just like change it up. Alright, so here's our other mule deer that we got with the pulsar. We had a right lung shoulder blade shot. 124 score. So now... I think we're going to loop back up. I cleared my other drawing. Loop back up this way, since clearly we haven't been on this side of the map really at all. And hopefully we find some more whitetail. Alright, so we've got another small whitetail buck out here. 50 to 75 score estimate. But we'll try to take him out with the 243. Alright, the first time one does not drop. Hopefully we got a lung and not just shoulder blade. We'll check that out in just a second. Uh, that does look like lung blood. Yeah, he's down just behind that tree there. So that's more what I expected uh, from this hunt to get some uh, animals to run just a bit like that. So he is just right up here. That should have been just single lung then. And shoulder blade. 51 score, pretty small. Alright, we're still heading north uh, back up, kind of towards where we started. We'll probably go to the three lakes and hopefully we can find something there, uh, if not before that. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. We've got yet another small buck coming in. Actually, he's like the mirror of the last one. You can see this little sticker. On his left antler. There was one just like it, I think, on the right antler of the other one that we got. But we'll take him. Hopefully we can find a bigger one soon. We did at least have the one nice one. Down he goes. I seriously like this gun. Like, if you haven't... I don't know if that's still valid. I assume it still is. If you confirm your email, you can get it. If you haven't yet done that, I would recommend it. I mean, it is pretty much free. All you have to do is spend, like, five minutes to get it. But 61 scoring whitetail, and we're almost to the three lakes, so hopefully there's a good buck down there. Alright, we've got a solid mule deer buck in front of us, 170 to 195 score estimate. He's got a kind of uneven rack, so I don't think he's above 180, uh, but I have seen some 180s with that rack shape. Alright, so hopefully that was lungs. I actually really like that. A lot of times, um, when you shoot an animal, they'll kind of like stop and turn and then run away but he bolted instantly uh, so it was like a much better reaction in my opinion we do have lung blood here so he's just going to be down over this uh, little rise at least he should be we'll find out in just a second maybe Yeah, here he is. Get the score of him. 175, not bad. 
But we're hunting whitetail, so we'll get back to doing that. Alright, so we've got another whitetail buck coming in. 115 to 140 score estimate. And I don't think I've ever, like, specifically hunted whitetail this long and not seen, like, a 120 buck until now. Like, we had so many small ones, and I actually had another, like, 50 scoring one in front of this guy. I had to move around him, and he spooked before uh, this one got here. But I have I think four bucks between, like, 50 and 60, and then one in the 150s. That's been crazy. But I think hopefully we can get one more uh, buck before I have to uh, stop recording. So hopefully it'll be a big one, but we'll see. All right, so our last buck of the day is coming in. Unfortunately, he's not all that big, just 110 to 135 score estimate. Uh, but we had a pretty good hunt. We had quite a few kills, uh, and we did have the one nice whitetail buck at 157. What the? Does that look weird to you guys? Maybe it's just the way he was, yeah, his, his uh, what is that, his hip, I guess, was kind of forward? I don't know, that looked weird, but anyway. We'll go ahead and take our shot on him. Alright, I'm not sure if that was lungs. He should go down. Yep. So that was lungs. So we'll go ahead and grab him and take a trophy shot just for the sake of the video. But yeah, at least we did get the one decent buck. Um, of course, he wasn't a real trophy, but we'll take it. I'm just glad to actually be recording... Uh, this series again because the last like week and a half I've had to record um, just random stuff a lot I had to do a lot of like recording at night instead of during the day like I normally do uh, for various reasons and then call of the wild came out so it's just good to be recording normally again and our bucks can score 118 so we'll take a trophy shot to wrap it up all right so I think this looks pretty good no big bucks but we did have the pretty decent one so not a bad hunt overall I did want to mention that uh, because I missed that multiplayer game on uh, that Saturday about a week and a half ago, I'm going to make one up next week, probably Monday or Tuesday, but I can't say that for sure because I'm on spring break and I don't know uh, what I'm going to be doing uh, prior, but I have a lot more time, so I'll be able to definitely host at least some point during the week. I will put it on Twitter when I'm hosting, so my Twitter link is in the description, uh, so if you want to follow me there, you can definitely know when I'm going to be hosting. I do tend to do that for all my multiplayer games. I try to tweet out uh, when I'm hosting if I can remember to do that. But also, be sure to leave your comments for the next Let's Go Hunting video. Let me know what animal you'd like me to hunt, what map you'd like me to hunt it on, and what weapon you'd like me to hunt it with. And it might just be chosen for the next Let's Go Hunting video. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.